everybody, my name is Coach Shane and welcome to Easy English Expressions. Come on, let's master English. Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the podcast. This is number 1,118. Today's expression is so good. It is pet peeve. Pet peeve. P-E-T. Pet. Just like your cat or your dog. But in this case, it's not a cat or a dog. Pet peeve. Peeve. P-E-E-V-E. So what do these two words mean and what do they mean together? Peeve, P-E-E-V-E, simply means something that annoys you, something that bothers you, okay? And when you see the word or hear the word peeve, you will almost always see it or hear it with the word pet. And we don't say peeve pet, it's always pet peeve. Pet, as I said, can refer to a cat or a dog. And if you have a cat or a dog, if you have a pet, you love your cat or your dog, right? I have three cats and one dog. Do I love them? Um, Well, I take care of them. They're my responsibility. So yeah, I guess in a way I love them, right? I mean, I love them more than mosquitoes and mice, of course. Uh, but no, no, I, I, of course I love them. My dog's name is Moose. My old cat's name is Minty. And my two little cats are Baseball and Tennis Racket. And yes, I love them, of course. There's such a thing called a pet name. And a pet name is basically a nickname that you give your wife or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, especially someone you love. Uh, That's my pet name. My pet name for my wife is uh, Zooby Dooby. That's just a joke. It's not. But the idea is when I see her, Zooby Dooby. Hey, Zooby Dooby. Zooby Dooby. I love you. It's not. Believe me. If my wife, if I called my wife Zooby Dooby, uh, she'd probably kill me. Uh, But that's the idea of a pet name. A simple pet name would be Sweetheart. Darling, baby, but those are very common. Many times people, couples, will have kind of like secret or private pet names. So what is a pet name? In this case, a name is a name. A pet, somebody that you love. Somebody that you feel deeply about. Mm. So a pet is an animal that you love. A pet name is a nickname for someone that you love. And a pet peeve is something that you love to hate. That's the easiest way to make a definition. Something that you love to hate. Something that bothers you so much and you love to complain about it. You love to say, oh my God, shut up. I hate that. That's my pet peeve. We'll talk about different pet peeves in a second. Number one, check out the dialogue. You okay? No. Listen. Ah. Uh, is that Tommy? Is he... Licking his tongue! That's my biggest pet peeve! Yeah, the uh, the old tongue flick. When I was a little kid, uh, I did that. I remember, you know, I'm probably like four years old, and I remember sitting, uh, watching TV, doing the, the tongue flicking, and I don't know what this was, but... Like making air come through your lips and then out your mouth. It sounds like a fart. Uh, Oh, yeah. I used to do that all the time. And I would drive my mom and my dad, especially my dad. It would drive him crazy. He hated it. It was his pet peeve. Uh, Yeah. Loud chewing noises. Oh, I hate that, right? What about people being late? Oh, you're always late. You're always two minutes late. You're always five minutes late. You're always 10 minutes late. You're always late. You're never on time. You're never early. Yeah, I hate that. Being late is my pet peeve. That's for sure. The incorrect use of grammar. To be honest, as an English teacher, right? You would think I hate people using uh, grammar wrong. And actually, I don't. I mean, if you're studying English and your grammar is is wrong, that's fine. You're studying English. 
But even if you're a native English speaker, so for example, yesterday we learned the exp- in DDM, we learned the expression, give them. And that's a horrible grammatic expression. When, when you talk about grammar, it's really, really, really wrong. But it's part of daily English. If I go into the South or in some urban areas, their usage of grammar, when they talk amongst them fr- their, themselves, their friends, totally different from the standard rules of grammar. Even British grammar and American grammar rules can be different. Even New York City editor grammar and Chicago City editing grammar can be different. A lot of opinions out there, but uh, grammar, eh, it's not a pet peeve of mine. Bad pronunciation is much more of a pet peeve of mine. What about you? What kind of pet peeves do you have? I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love for you to try my lessons, my VIP lessons. Try them for free. Uh, DDM, that's my listening class. Perf, that's my speaking class. Uh, We've got Perf Personal. We've got so many great things. In China, I have the English camp. Uh, You can try my lessons for free. And I'll just be honest right now. My lessons are not cheap, okay? They're, They're on the expensive side. But... It's because of what we provide. Uh, You go out there and find any English class, and you can't compare what we provide. Ours, my students say this, and I'm so happy. They say, Coach Shane's English classes are the last classes you'll ever need. And that makes me really happy. Uh, And that's that's what I try to to do. This is it, baby. Uh, Once you join DDM or Perf, there's so much stuff to learn and the learning is endless and it's so much fun that you don't need another English class. And my recommendation, don't wait. There's no benefit in waiting. The only benefit in waiting is you get lazier and fatter and maybe you get some sleep or maybe you can play a game or something like that. I don't know. Um, Get on it. Busy people produce more things. It's just uh, a fact in general, that's just the truth. So don't waste your time. Get the free lessons. Try them. If you like them, join. Once again, we have DDM, which is my listening class. Perf, which is a speaking class. These are very different. Lots of people join both. And especially if you are in China, we have the China Camp, which is a combination of both of those. A little bit more at the beginning level, uh, but those are excellent classes too. Uh, how do you do that? Just go to my webpage, letsmasterenglish.com, or send an email, contact at letsmasterenglish.com. Ooh, that was a long advertisement. Coach Shane. Sorry. Let's go ahead and listen to the dialogue two more times. Pet peeve. Oh, my God. Advertisements are my pet peeve. Two more times. And together, let's master English. You okay? No. Listen. Uh, Is that Tommy? Is he? Licking his tongue. That's my biggest pet peeve. You okay? No. Listen. Uh, Is that Tommy? Is he? Licking his tongue. That's my biggest pet peeve.